Hello and welcome to part something of the Elton John 12 inch singles and I'll pick up where I left off which is always the best place to start um, with the second single from the Leather Jackets LP which is a bit of Cliff so we're getting a bit of what I also do so much of aren't we a little bit of Cliff there now as can be expected it's 12 inch single but all you get is an extra track on the B side. I mean I can't imagine doing an extended version of this it would <laughs> turn a dirge into even more of a dirge but at least it got Elton and Cliff working together it was one of the songs that Elton did with the MSO too uh, when he was in Australia doing those concerts or attempting to do those concerts I can remember reading somewhere that Elton had always wanted to do a duet with Cliff or something like that and this was the first song that really came up that worked as a duet I can't quite remember but goodness me with Cliff in the studio I bet they had to um, clean up a few credit cards and things like that and uh, wash the basins and everything yeah Next up is the 12 inch, well they're all 12 inches aren't they? Um, but I can't really say extended version many of these either, but you get extra tracks. And with this one being Candle in the Wind, it's from the Live in Australia LP. Yeah, IMS does sound a bit taxation related, but as you can see from underneath, that means the Polygram Import Music Services, or PIMS. <laughs> goes from sounding something from the taxation department to something that could be a disease from IMS to PIMS I don't actually remember how I got this though I suspect I probably just picked it up at a record fair or something I certainly wouldn't have had it specifically imported <laughs> would have been a fortune back then but what they've done on on this particular one is they've basically taken pretty much what both the singles were from that LP and put them together so on side one you've got Candle in the Wind and side two you've got your song and it's B-sides are the same B-sides as the 7 inch B-sides yeah I actually think I said that right and if I didn't it sounded like it <laughs> this certainly helped from memory this helped um, get Elton a little bit back onto the charts there Candle in the Wind seems to be something that works very well for him <laughs> in that respect, said he somewhat cynically. And next up we've got a bit of Rush, we've got a bit of Jennifer Rush. And you look at that and all you know that it's the Jew is down there. Now the extended version of this is, oh, it's not too bad, I just, I just remember that it was the first thing Elton did when he came back from his vocal surgery. But I, 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 as I said on the 7 inch one, I actually did quite like the song too, so it's a um, terrible video. <laughs> it's a terrible video with all that 80s effects and all that stop motion stuff. But uh, yeah, I still enjoyed the song and there's a couple, there's at least a minute and a half extra of it, which is always good. You've got a few more flames there and a bit more paradise. And... Next up is the messy cover of Don't Want to Go On With You Like That. This was obviously when he decided that he wanted to sell a few of his wigs and glasses and it created this kind of thing. Now this remix, whatever, I really didn't like but then I actually didn't like a lot of Shep Pettibone's stuff anyway. He was kind of the remixes version of Stock Ake and Waterman really. He sort of did the same thing with different songs. So yeah, I just really didn't like it. It's one of those songs that was faded out or edited or whatever you want to say for, for radio. So yeah, the um, B side of this one, at least you get the album version of I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That, as opposed to the DJ version that you get on the 7 inch. And so the full version is on the album, but this remix, no. I'm glad this wasn't on the album. And next up is Town of Plenty, which I actually quite quite liked. This wasn't an extended version. I could kind of imagine how you could do one of this, 
but for whatever reason it wasn't done and we were given an extra track on the B side instead. But why on earth the B sides were tracks from five years previous from the likes of Too Low For Zero? Well that's anyone's guess. For me that actually kind of made the... I only bought this because it was... well... was more for being a fan of the artist than actually for the value of what you were getting for this thing. Not only did you get a track that you could just simply have gotten the 7 inch version from, but you were given tracks from the B-side that were... you could... yeah, just were, were from like a previous period. So, mm, what do you do? But I suppose, if nothing else, the town of Plenty could be a... Um, easily represents a pioneer village somewhere. That would probably be it. All these versions of um, Elton's costumes there. It's just it's just really interesting, though, how you got ones like Slow Rivers there, where you've got two previously unreleased tracks, yet on town, which gives you a little bit better value than this town of Plenty thing, which really only gives you a bigger version of the seven inch single picture sleeve. And on that note, I shall bid you goodbye, adieu, farewell, a Wiedersehen, something like that. Something from the sound of music or whatever it was. Um, anyway, please do the lights and subscribe to the bells and whistles and all that sort of stuff because my hands just love doing this sort of thing with my wrists and all of that sort of stuff. And as for my fingers, great exercise and all that jazz handy thing. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching and please take care of yourself and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Ciao.